I saw him first from a distance. I had heard about him, how he could heal people if he wanted to. I wasn't sure if he would heal me. He was in the house ahead of me, surrounded by the men of the town, all talking and pushing to be near him. He didn't see me at first. He was sitting on the well edge when I arrived. All the other women had gone by then. I wasn't welcome when they were there. He asked me for a drink of water. I never thought he would speak to me. There's no easy way to say this. I bled all the time, 12 years and counting. No one wanted to come near me. I felt unclean. There's no easy way to say this. They didn't want me there. Pushing myself into places and situations usually restricted to men. I felt unwelcome. There's no easy way to say this. I had a reputation, living with a man not my husband, and so many before him. I felt ashamed. I just wanted to have control of my life again, to feel comfortable in public, not to be worrying about what others thought of me or what I thought of myself. I just wanted my voice to be heard, to be allowed to take my place in society, to use my voice and play my part. I just wanted to feel normal again, respectable even, to hold my head up in the street, to be part of my community again. It doesn't seem too much to ask, yet we were invisible. Ignored and unregarded. Our presence undesirable, our voices unheard. Until, Until he came. came. Do you know what it feels like to have someone know your story? Alongside me in my troubles, when I reached out my hand. Do you know what it feels like to be fully acknowledged, recognised for all that I offered and all I might become? Do you know what it feels like to have someone accept you, to know the very worst of you and to love you just the same? I never thought I would have the courage to ask for what I needed. I reached out and touched him. I believed and I was healed. I was tired of staying silent, not voicing my beliefs. I poured out my oil and declared him Messiah. I had become so used to staying out of the way, unwanted and unwelcome. I believed he would accept me. I offered my hospitality. His presence beside us, listening to us, believing in us, enabling and empowering us to stand in our dignity, to, to be, be all, all that, that we could, could be. be.